the love that dare not speak. Its name the sun was setting on the small town of Black Creek. The sky was painted in a warm orange glow, and the birds sang in the trees. It was a peaceful evening as most of the townspeople were tucked away in their homes, getting ready for the night ahead. However, not everyone in Black Creek was getting ready for bed. In the shadows of the town, two figures moved cautiously through the darkness. It was a young couple, both dressed in dark clothes, their faces hidden by scarves. They had been together for months, but kept their relationship a secret. They had met at a local festival and had been drawn to each other immediately. They had been together ever since, but they were scared to tell anyone. In Black Creek, it was not socially acceptable for two people of the same gender to be in a relationship. The couple moved quickly, wanting to make it to their destination before anyone saw them. They had heard of a place in the woods, a place where they could be together in peace. As they moved through the trees, they felt the love between them growing stronger. Finally, they reached their destination. It was an old abandoned castle, with walls covered in ivy and windows boarded up. The couple crept inside, their hearts racing with anticipation. The castle was filled with cobwebs and dust, but it was also filled with love. The couple embraced and kissed, their love slowly starting to fill the empty room. They were finally free to love each other, and nothing could stop them. They spent the night exploring the castle, talking and laughing and dreaming of a future together. The next day, they left the castle and returned to their lives. They never spoke of their night together, but they both knew they would never forget it. They had found a love that dare not speak its name, and it was beautiful. As the weeks and months passed, the couple continued to keep their love a secret. But they never stopped dreaming of the day when they could finally be together openly. They went on secret dates to the castle, and they talked and laughed and shared their hopes and dreams. Every time they were together, their love grew stronger. They dreamed of a future together, and they became even closer with each passing day. One day, the couple decided it was time to tell the world about their love. They wanted to make their love official, and they wanted to be able to share it with everyone. So they invited their friends and family to the castle, and they declared their love in front of them. It was an emotional moment but it was also the happiest moment of their lives. From that day on, the couple was accepted and celebrated for the love they shared. They got married, and they were finally able to openly express their love without fear. The love that dare not speak its name had finally been spoken, and it was beautiful. The Beauty and the Beastly Curse the young woman had a dream that she would find a handsome prince and they would live happily ever after. Little did she know that her dream would soon become something much more sinister. As she was walking down the street one day, she spotted a beautiful castle in the distance. She was intrigued and decided to explore the area. When she arrived at the castle, she noticed a handsome prince standing in the doorway. She was smitten and decided to talk to him. The prince welcomed her warmly and told her that he was cursed with an awful beastly form. Every night he would turn into a monster and he was unable to control it. He begged her to help him break the curse and she readily agreed. The young woman began to search for an ancient spell that could break the curse. She found a book of ancient spells in a library, and eventually found the one she was looking for. She quickly wrote it down and returned to the castle. That night, she performed the spell and the prince was transformed back into his handsome self. They embraced and he thanked her for saving him. They both knew that the curse was broken and they would live happily ever after. Unfortunately, 
The spell was not as powerful as they thought, and the curse was not completely broken. The prince was still cursed with an inner beastly form that could only be controlled when he was with the young woman. Every night, the prince would turn into a beastly creature and the young woman would be the only one who could soothe his inner monster. She loved him unconditionally and never once shied away from his monstrous side. The prince and the young woman lived happily ever after, despite the ongoing curse. They eventually had children who inherited their parents' curse, but the young woman's love for the prince was strong enough to break the curse for them as well. The Beauty and the Beastly Curse is a dark and romantic story about the power of love to overcome any obstacle. It is a reminder that beauty is not just skin deep and that true love is boundless and powerful. The prince and young woman lived a long and happy life together, and they shared many more adventures as they explored the world and its many mysteries. They fought off monsters and villains, and they helped many people who were in need. They were an example of true love that could withstand anything. Their love story was passed down through generations, and it became known as the Beauty and the Beastly Curse. It was a reminder to all that true love could break any curse and that beauty was not just skin deep. It was a beautiful reminder of the power of love to overcome any obstacle. The Love of Death When Sarah first saw him, she was immediately drawn to him. His mysterious aura, his tall and slim figure, and his beautiful green eyes, he was like a dream come true for her. Sarah was a young woman of 22, and the man she had just met was a few years older. His name was Caleb, and he lived in a mansion just outside the city. Sarah decided to take a chance and visit him at his home. When she arrived at the mansion, her heart raced with anticipation. She was greeted warmly by Caleb, who welcomed her into his home with open arms. It wasn't long before Sarah and Caleb were spending every free moment together. They shared the same interests, and their conversations felt like a never-ending dance. But Sarah soon noticed something unusual about Caleb. Whenever they talked, he always seemed to be looking off into the distance, as if he were searching for something. One night, Sarah woke to a loud noise coming from outside her bedroom window. She rushed out to investigate and found Caleb standing in the garden. He was dressed in a long black cloak, and his face was hidden beneath a hood. Sarah watched in horror as Caleb took out a sharp knife and began to dig a shallow grave. She ran back inside, her heart pounding with fear. She knew that Caleb was not a normal man, he was something far more sinister. The next day, Caleb told Sarah the full story. He had been cursed by an evil witch, and the curse caused him to become an immortal being. He was able to walk through walls and transform into a terrifying creature of death. Sarah was scared, but her love for Caleb was too strong. She vowed to stay with him, no matter what happened. Years later, Sarah and Caleb were still together. They had grown old together, but their love was as strong as ever. Whenever Caleb transformed into his monstrous form, Sarah was always there to comfort him. The curse had taken a heavy toll on Caleb, but Sarah was always there to remind him of the love they shared. No matter what happened, she was determined to remain by his side until the end. The Love of Death was a story of true love, even in the face of evil. Sarah and Caleb's love was a beacon of hope in a dark and cruel world. Till death do us part. It was an eerie feeling that Julia had when she decided to move into her new home, a feeling of dread that seemed to linger in the air. She had heard stories of the old house being haunted and that the previous owners had had to move out due to strange occurrences. 
but she was determined not to let any of the rumors stop her from getting the home she wanted so badly. The first few weeks in the house were uneventful, but it wasn't long before strange things began to happen. One night, Julia awoke to the sound of a man's voice coming from the hallway. She got out of bed and crept down the hall to investigate, only to find it empty. But the voice kept calling her name, and it was driving her crazy. Finally, Julia decided to take matters into her own hands. She contacted a local spiritualist and asked them to come to her house and investigate. After a few hours of investigation, the spiritualist told her that the house was haunted by the spirit of a man who had died in the home many years ago. He had been deeply in love with a woman who had died before him, and he had never been able to move on from her. Julia was horrified but determined to help the spirit find peace. She told the spiritualist that she would stay in the house and help the spirit pass on. Every night, she would go to the hallway to talk to the spirit, telling him stories and offering her love and support. As time went on, the hallucinations stopped and eventually the spirit left the house. Julia was relieved but also saddened to find out that the spirit had been so deeply in love with someone else but she was also glad that she had been able to help him find peace. She now believed that true love can last even beyond death. Julia eventually married and had children. Every night before she went to bed, she would tell them the story of the man who had been so in love with someone that he was still lingering in the house all those years later. She told them that true love really could last until death do us part. Julia was grateful for the experience of being able to help a spirit pass on, and she often thought about him when she was with her own family. She was reminded of the power of love and the strength of a bond that could last beyond death. Julia told her children that it was important to never forget the power of love and that it was something that could last forever. She also taught them that true love was unconditional and that it was something worth fighting for. To this day, Julia still visits the old house occasionally. She stands in the hallway, taking a moment to remember the spirit that once haunted the home. She is thankful for the reminder that love is a powerful force that can last even beyond death. The Curse of Unrequited Love the sun was setting on a small, rural village in England. The sky was a deep, dark blue and the stars were just beginning to peek through. The inhabitants of the village had already tucked themselves into their homes for the night, as the area was notorious for its supernatural occurrences. In the center of the village was a small, abandoned church. It had been left untouched for decades and the locals had learned to avoid it. The only person who ever ventured near it was a young girl named Amelia. She had been cursed with unrequited love and felt it was her destiny to go there. Every night, Amelia would go to the church and sit in silence, in hopes that her true love would appear. She never knew who it was she longed for, but it was her one wish in life. One night, Amelia saw a figure in the shadows of the church. She approached it cautiously and saw that it was a young man, tall and handsome. He introduced himself as James and said that he was cursed as well, cursed with a desire for a woman he could never have. The two of them talked for hours about their lives and their curses. As the night wore on, they grew closer and closer. Amelia felt a deep connection with James that she had never felt before, and he felt the same. As the sun rose, they both realized that they were in love and that the curse had been broken. They embraced and promised to love each other forever. Amelia and James were married in the abandoned church, and they lived happily ever after. They had a wonderful life together, and their love never wavered. To this day, 
the locals still tell tales of the two lovers who were cursed with unrequited love, but who were able to break the curse and find true happiness together. They are a reminder to all who hear the story that love can conquer even the darkest of curses. The village was so enamored with Amelia and Jane's story that they decided to restore the abandoned church and turn it into a shrine to their love. Every year, on the anniversary of their wedding, people from all over the region come to the church to celebrate the couple's love and devotion. The shrine has become a place of hope and solace for many people, especially those who are struggling with unrequited love. It serves as a reminder that true love is out there and that it can be found, no matter how distant or impossible it may seem. Amelia and James' story is one of the most beloved tales in the village. It is a reminder to everyone that love is worth fighting for and that, in the end, it is always worth it.